what comes naturally out of entanglement is uh, non-locality. Non-locality means that what happens in one part right here um, is actually correlated with something that happens over here. But again, our everyday experience seems to be, well, this object here is separate from this object there. The two are not communicating. I can do something to this, and that will not affect something over there. But non-locality, which operates through entanglement, tells you that no, the two remain always together, no matter how far apart they are in space and time. So when it's outside of space-time, it's also outside cause and effect. My action causes something else to happen later on in time. But if now something is outside space and time, cause and effect lose their meaning, at least the way we experience them again in everyday life. So we can say that reality with capital R, whatever that is, is non-local and entangled. But then the next question is, why does it appear as local and disentangled? Because our everyday experience is not entanglement. How come a quantum world appears to us as a classical world? And then we think of the classical world and say, that is reality. But then physics tells us, no, that's not reality. You know, we take our five senses as everything there is, and here we have something that goes outside of that sensory input. So we have an existentialist problem, so to speak. We have a problem that, hey, the real world is different than what the senses give us to be the real world.